So you're looking for a sieve shaker and aren't sure which one is the right one for you? Or perhaps you're looking to update your current lab setup. In this video, we'll talk to you about the two different sieve shakers that WS Tyler offers, the original mechanical Rotap and the newer Rotap E, and explain the pros and cons of each. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Candice, and I'm the Particle Analysis Product Manager here at WS Tyler. There are several things that you should consider before choosing a new sieve shaker system. In this video, we'll compare the two different kinds of shakers we offer here at WS Tyler, the mechanical Rotap and our Rotap E, so that you'll have all the information you need to make a good decision. We'll be following a checklist in this video that you can download so you can follow along as well. Just click the link below the video. There are a couple of differences between the two different versions of the shakers. The first obvious one being their size and the amount of space they'll take up in your laboratories. The second difference is the action that they use to separate the particles in the sieve. The mechanical sieve shaker has gears and a timing belt to cause the oscillation movement and the hammer taps on top of the sieve stack to allow the particles to find the openings in the sieves. The Rotap E's 3D vibrations stop at set intervals to allow the particles time to find the mesh openings. By its nature, the original mechanical Rotap is a much louder machine. The hammer tapping on top of the sieves and the method of the oscillation causes that high noise level. On the other hand, because the Rotap E's electromagnetic motion, you'll hear just a buzzing noise. Because of these differences, we'll give noise level to the Rotap E. The mechanical sieve shakers will range in price from about $1,200 to just under $4,000. For the Rotap E's, those prices will range from about $4,200 up to $6,600. So in this category, the check mark goes to the mechanical shakers. The Rotap E is about half the weight of the mechanical sieve shaker and takes up much less space on a laboratory tabletop. So in this category, we'll give the check mark to the Rotap E. The Rotap E requires little to no maintenance. You're going to want to make sure that you keep the support rods clean and be careful of the cover. As opposed to the mechanical shaker that does have some wear and tear parts that are fairly easy to replace. We have videos and articles that'll help you repair and maintain your mechanical Rotap sieve shaker all on our learning center. Because of the level of maintenance, we'll give this category to the Rotap E. The mechanical Rotap is a plug and play type of shaker. It takes very little setup time to be ready to do your first particle analysis. The Rotap E Premium, on the other hand, allows the user to customize the settings for the interval and the amplitude and can take a little more time before you can do that first test. So in the category of ease of use, we're gonna give the check mark to the mechanical shaker. Whichever version of the sieve shaker you choose, the first step and most important step is running an end of sieving analysis so that you'll get consistent repeatable results every time you run a test. There is some possibility for error to occur if parts on the mechanical shaker wear down and need replaced, but inconsistent users are the main source of error in any sim analysis process. So in this category, we're gonna give both shakers the check mark. You'd probably benefit from a mechanical Rotap sieve shaker if your budget's less than $4,000. You wanna get up and running quickly to do your sieve analysis, or if you don't mind the noise level. You'd probably choose the Rotap E if you had a little bit bigger budget, you have a smaller space to work with, and you're looking to reduce the noise level in your lab. If you'd like to learn more about particle analysis, we have a learning center filled with videos and content with information including comparisons, pricing, and how-tos that'll help you become an expert. Just click the link in the video description. To keep up to date with all things WS Tyler, click the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. Thank you for watching. I'm Candace, and have a great day.